Hey guys, it's Ska Bones, and welcome to another edition of CPRA's Denver Punk Rock Podcast. This is episode two, the quarantine and working from home edition. Now, first things first, things are really weird, but I'm telling everybody not to lose hope. Uh, stop reading the news, stay off of Facebook for a couple of days. I mean, if it's big, we'll hear about it. If not, it's kind of depressing, honestly. Um, I just want to give a massive shout out really real quick to uh, everybody working in the grocery stores, keeping us stocked, um, doctors and nurses, CNAs, everybody in the hospital and healthcare fields really trying to help people stay alive. You know, make sure you're washing your hands because you don't know who you might give this stuff to. And if you are sick, please do Stay home. A second shout out is going to go to all the people who've been recently laid off, especially in the service industry, the venues, bartenders, waitresses, waiters. They're really hurting right now. The entertainment industry is what has really propelled Denver into the 20 into 2020, and unfortunately, it's currently at a standstill. So, if you know your local bartender or wait staff on Facebook, or even your band, shoot them five, ten bucks, and say, "Hey, you know, here's this just for now." And I'll, I'll see, I'll give you a bigger tip, you know, what I'm working to, I guess is the, is the thing. So I started working from home recently and, uh, it's been really weird. I've had computer issues just like everybody else. The nice thing is I don't have to wear headphones. So when I'm listening to kill the poor by the dead Kennedys or a cab by the amazing, amazing flying dumbasses, Well, I don't have Karen going, Oh my God, are you listening to that punk rock? Before we get started, let's talk about uh, CPRA real quick again. So if you know what CPRA is, good. If not, I'm here to educate you. So CPA started back in 2016, and we promote local and underground underground bands, also artists, a lot of that stuff. What we really need to do right now is basically survive. And so today's quarantine episode is about surviving this whole COVID-19 crap and trying to make the best of it. Since we are stuck inside, um, our first track up is by Seattle's The Drowns with Rats.
we're back. And that was The Drowns with Rats. Man, I absolutely love that band. And it seems like over time, their music is just getting better and better. And as I'm sitting here in isolation from what feels like the rest of the world, I'm not sick. But, you know, we're staying at home right now. Um, I'm pissed off at the world. And I'm, I'm actually not pissed off at my friends or my family. I'm pissed off at the President of the United States and the politicians that are playing with our hearts and our minds right now. We're all a little scared, wondering what the future entails, and they can't seem to get together to to help us one bit. I mean, and yet now, now they want to digitize the dollar, which as soon as I heard that, I heard Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars laughing in Palpatine, if that makes sense. Sorry for the shitty Star Wars reference. <laughs> so, um, the only thing we can do is fight to survive, and here's Colorado's last real hero with my survival. You're living in a constant struggle. Your mind is a conscience war. Your mind can view the madness. Mind can view the world. You're coming up strong, man. But for how long? You're coming up strong, my friend, yeah. But for how long? Who are the tides? Regret, full eye. Who are the tides? Regret, full eye. Surviving it, oh yeah. Survive it, definitely. Resolution. We need a new solution, yeah Past the point of execution Cause the end is near The times so hard and the people so poor But the war is a crime and the war amongst us There is this slavery amongst us There is this crime and the poverty Who hold you the tide? We full eyes Hold you the tide? Survive it, oh yeah Survive it, I definitely back um so the last real hero popped up on on our radar on our radar cpra's radar with with what seemed like out of nowhere i just got a random message that was like hey check out this band which we do get a ton of messages and unfortunately i apologize if i've never gotten back to you it's nothing personal it's just a real lack of time um so i i love their blend of their it's a northern soul and oi kind of sound of ska um, not only ska, but punk rock and also rock and roll as well. So many of their songs are relatable, they're danceable, or you can jump in a pit to. Just, they're just a blast of a band to listen to. I think I've covered The Last Real Hero, but I want to mention I'm also pissed off at the racist people out there. And I mean the people who are pointing and blaming the Chinese for starting all this stuff. Um, it's not like the Chinese people, as people, wanted to do this to the rest of the world. I'm sure that... You know, the, even though the virus may have originated 
in China. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I'm pissed off at the racists for putting up signs that say, you know, no Chinese allowed. I mean, what the hell is this? 1865 San Francisco again? I'm also pissed off at the, the right wing and the right wing religions right now. I see them pandering for your money, for your hopes, for your dreams, and it just pisses me off. And I don't mean people who just believe in religion and people who are followers of religion. I mean people who believe that they are better than everyone else because they are religious. And I do blame organized religion for causing to instill that in people. So, you know, we don't we don't need religion at this point in time. Sure you can you can pray but if you're going to pray, at least pray that the science and if you believe in God, if you believe whatever, pray for the scientists because they they will ultimately be the ones to to figure this shit out. And I, I'm tired of hearing God is punishing us for our sins that we have made committed prior to COVID-19 invading our lives. That is 100% bullshit. We need to support the science community now more than we ever have before. Um, I went to work a couple of weeks ago, and there were some Jehovah Hova witnesses standing outside passing out flyers, you know, whatever. Um, and a bunch of them were saying, oh, the end is near. And the one thing I noticed is that their, their organizers or their handlers were wearing very, very nice Armani suits. Obviously, it was probably church-funded suits. And the followers that were there with them, who seemed like very nice people, were actually and kind of, I'd say, Walmart's best or Kmart's best, which just made me more pissed off. So that's going to lead me into my next track, which is by Canada's Jerk Switch, a.k.a. formerly the Stud Fuck. This track is called Fuck God and Fuck Reality.
Uh, welcome back, guys. I'm uh, Scott Bones with CPRA's Denver Punk Rock Podcast. So since the right thing we're all going to hell, why don't we pack our bags and board the next train with another Colorado-based band out of Pueblo, Colorado, called The Dead End. This rockabilly fit, outfit, for their Facebook page, says, The Dead End formed originally as the Dead End Stompers in September 2012. After a couple of lineup changes and departure of original bassist, The Dead End was reborn in 2017. So here's my next track, The Dead End with Hellbound from the album Hellbound. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully I didn't piss off anybody. Well, I really don't give a fuck if I pissed anybody off, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't hate religions, and I don't definitely don't mind somebody who's religious. I despise what organized religion does to people. The rapes, the money grabbing, ultimate brainwashing. It's It needs to stop. Or churches need to get better about dealing with this kind of stuff before I'll accept it. If somebody says, hey, come to my church, I'm going to say... Your, your house needs some cleaning. So let's move on to a little something happier and a less downer. Uh, amid the mess of uh, COVID-19, I don't know if you guys recently noticed, but Colorado Governor Jared Polis recently abolished the death penalty in the state of Colorado. Well, and I'm hoping this will lead to him disarming the police, which is actually our next track by Upper Downer. 
called Disarm the Police. edition of CPRA's Denver Punk Rock Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Scott Bones. I'm by myself this time. Hopefully, Lala will be with me next time around. If you guys have a suggestion for me to play on a show, please make sure you send a Facebook message, preferably, over to our Facebook page, um, or you can email us over at contact us at coloradopunkrockarmy.com. You can find us on Instagram, also on YouTube as CPRA Presents. So we're going to head off into our final night and take a nice detour with Sunset Silhouette, and that track is called Detour.